Now, as we have already seen a particular template called control template, here we are going to discuss about the data template. So in this particular example, what we will see, first of all, we'll customize a particular string kind of variable and then we'll see how to do the customization or how to design a template for the complex object. So let's start a practical implementation regarding the data template. Now, in order to implement the data template for WPF, I will start working with the complex type variable or property. The reason is the controls already know how to render a predefined data type like string or integer. So it's better to start with any complex type and to create that in the C sharp file, I have already created a class with the name company and this company class is containing a couple of properties like company name and tagline. Now, Later, what I'm doing in our main class, that is the main window, I am creating the property of company type called comp with the setter and get accessor. All right. And later in the constructor, I just initialized this object comp with, with the object initializer where I put the value in both of the properties in company name, tutorials point, tagline, simply easy learning. And later for this particular uh, window the data context is the current object that means the current instance of the window will be set as the data context now after that let's come to the example page to see what all we'll have to do for putting those complex types on the window so inside the grid what I'm going to do is I will create a content presenter so here let's write content presenter inside which I will create the content presenter means for this content presenter I'm going to create the content template all right so dot content template all right so let's close this since here I'm clearly telling I'm going to put content template so first of all I'll also have to tell like which kind or which particular object I'm going to show inside this content presenter because obviously this content presenter is here to present some time of some customized type of content all right so right here what I can do is I can say content all right and I will do a binding here binding and here I will tell you tell it the name of my object all right as here I have created comp all right so I just said bind with the comp so that inside this content presenter if I will take a couple of controls I can bind the value of these this object comp that is company name or tagline so now what I'll do inside this content presenter content template Finally, I will get start with the data template because finally I'm going to put my data inside this data template. So how I want to show that for that I will put a label control out here. All right. And in label in first label, what I want to do is I want to show the name of the company. So content is equal to object is already bound. So now what I'll have to tell I'll have to tell the name of the property this object is already bound right this comp so it has a couple of properties company name and tagline so what I'll do is I will say binding with the company name all right and after the content if you want to put some different color you can do that like foreground is equal to green all right maybe if you want to increase the size you can do whatever you want in such a way so let's start let's execute and see whether I'm getting some output or not so here you can see tutorials point all right that was there in the company name is now here all right similarly I can put another content template right there all right followed by the data template and similarly if you want to show the tagline you can simply just pass the same thing again and now here you will say tag line all right you have to be particular about the cases 
so let's execute let's put it in different color let's say blue all right let's execute now all right so like here you can see they got overlapped so here's something your margin will work so here I have passed 20 20 20 20 just some random values with the margin uh, let's start the execution now so this is tutorials point right there in the beginning and simply easy learning all right after being applied with some margins all right so this is how you can start working with the data template in WPF